This week's Top 10 Tuesday from The Broke and the Bookish is our Top 10 Books that Deal with Tough Issues. So that's what I'm talking about today. I'm the supplier. I like reading about books with tough issues, um, partly because, you know, life is tough, and partly because it gives me a point of entry to empathize with people who um, find themselves in situations that I have not experienced. So here are my top 10 books with that deal with tough issues. Number 10 is Wanna Go Private, and it deals with the dangers of having relationships with people on the internet. Um, and it's one of those it's scary because it's true kind of books. Number nine is If You Come Softly, which deals with interracial relationships and I suppose the dangers of being the wrong color at the wrong place at the wrong time. Number eight is Identical. And this one is a novel in verse, which is kind of cool, but it deals with abuse and with mental illness and is kind of fantastic. Actually, not kind of fantastic, it is quite fantastic. Although I suppose this is my top ten list, so they're all going to be quite fantastic. Yeah, okay, moving on. Number seven is Scars by Cheryl Rainfield, which deals with self-harm, among other things, and it is also fantastic, and this is my... Second copy of this book, because one of my kids, one of my kids, Jack, my previous copy. Number six is the Writers of Apocalypse series by Jackie Morris Kessler, and there's one more that I don't have called, I think, Breath, um, but they deal with bullying and with self-harm and with eating disorders. I don't know what the fourth one deals with, I can come back and let you know once I pick that one up and... Read it. I'm gonna take five and four and say Anything at All by Chris Crutcher. Um, this is his newest book, period eight, but Chris Crutcher deals with all kinds of tough issues and he deals with them in a really real way. And I think this month, so last month, I'm not sure, the most recent episode of Text Messages, which is a, um, a podcast by Read, Write, Think, and the International Reading Association. It's really cool. Did, um, Dr. Bueller did an interview with Chris Crutcher on that podcast, and I will link to it in the description because it's just cool to hear why he writes what he writes. So he gets two slots. Number three is One for the Murphys, which deals with... Like, the tough issue is... Partly letting people in trust, and and part um, being in foster care, children in foster care. Number two is Butter, which deals with obesity and popularity and bullying. Um, it is really, it's one of those really really disturbing books. Much like Want to Go Private, that it's disturbing because it could actually happen. And it's disturbing because of the choices that the characters in the books make about how they support the main character. Very good. Very, very scary. Oh wow, this is kind of... <laughs> I did not even realize this is coming apart. So number one is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. And this one really deals with the snowball effect of bullying. So how how when we do things to people and we think they're funny, we don't really know how they affect an individual person and how they're going to react to it. And again, it's one of those disturbing type novels, um, but I think it's hit close to home for a lot of people. And I hear a lot of a lot of great things about it on the internet. And the audiobook is the way they put it together is fantastic. And a number of my students have liked it so many that that um, there's an entire section of the book that is about to fall out, which means I need to replace it here soon. So it is number one, my number one, my top book is Thirteen Reasons Why by Jay Asher. 
You may have noticed that there were no LGBTQ books on this list, on my top 10 list here, and that's by design. The 17th, so Friday, is the International Homophobia and Transphobia Awareness Day. So in honor of that, this week's feature shelf deals with that tough issue, so I'll be giving you five books that deal with homophobia or, or transphobia in some way. So what are your top 10 books about tough issues? Leave me a comment here, or if you write a blog post or do a video, then make sure that, well, one, you send it to me because I would love to see what you have to say, but also that you link back to it on the Broken the Bookish blog, and I'll leave a link to, the, to that blog post in the description. That is it for me today. I will see you, well, tomorrow with uh, the, the Homophobia and Transphobia Awareness feature shelf. Until then, I am the supplier wishing you happy reading. Don't forget to be awesome.